Welcome to Nystrom Education. I'm Pamela Gothart, your Professional Learning Director. Today we're going to be looking at Stratalogica 101, Session 3, How It Works. Let's get started. On our agenda for today, we have historical maps, outline maps, registering students, we're going to have a review and an assignment for you. Starting on our homepage, which you've been to before, under task, we see user guides. Our user guide is step-by-step -step with screenshots and directions that will help you to accomplish anything you want to accomplish in Stratalogica. Also under task, if you need or want to change your password, you can click on change password. At the bottom of your home screen, you'll see our contact and support information. If you need immediate support, please use Stratalogica support at nystromeducation.com. You can also reach us at 1-800-421 Four, two, four, six. Let's get started with our maps. Click on your map icon on your home page. And again, the window opens into your 3D view. We're going to go to our map chooser again. Remember our stack of papers is our map chooser. And we're going to look at our historical maps today. You probably have one of two different series, either the US history maps or the world history. Today, I'm utilizing the US history maps and specifically, we're going to look at the one on Native Americans. Let's click on Native Americans, and this is our 3D view of the Native Americans map. Now remember, we have lessons. We can change it to 2D. We have a toolbox. There's a lot that we can do with the maps that we have within Stratalogica. Let's see what we're going to do first. First, we want to open our info button and look at the legend. What do the different colors of the different sections have to do with? has to do with the types of uh, cultures that they are. We can also click on our lesson button. The pen and paper is our lesson button. It opens our lessons on the right hand side of the screen. We also have our save view button on the top left in gold that makes it possible for us to save a particular view or save changes that we've made to a map. Let's look at our lessons. As we scroll down the page, we see that we have three different lessons for our historical map. This is true in each of our maps. Today, let's use the farmers. The farmers map says that we're using the Native Americans map, which is the one we were on, and then it gives us step-by-step -step directions as to what we can do with the students to have them actively engaged with the map. Let's look at here is our toolbox. When we open our toolbox and we again have, we have uh, a way to mark on the map, we have symbols, text, our push pen, our eraser, settings, and distance bar. Let's go to our symbols here, and you can see that we have a variety of symbols. I could easily on here create a quick uh, activity or quiz for the students to do. If I put the numbers on here and bring a number up here, I can allocate numbers to each of these different sections and make an activity for the students. So here's what I've done. I've put a number on the different regions and I've said create your own lessons. This is how I've created this lesson for myself rather than using one of the pre-made lessons that typically comes with the map. Now I'm going to use my push pin here to make a little notation for the students and give them some directions about what to do. So now you can see that what I've done is I've added a push pin that says start here. So they're going to start here by opening that and it's going to tell them what to do. Begin your work with number one. Identify the Native American tribes that inherited, inhabited that region. Identify their main source of food and the types of home in which they lived. After completing number one, move in a sequential order to the next number. So the next thing they would do is move to the next number and work their way through the map, indicating the uh, tribes that are settled there and the types of foods that they have to eat, as well as the types of homes in which they lived. Great activity for the students to indicate some of the work maybe that they've learned or some of the work that you've been going over most recently. If I click on the 2D section, I now have the 2D map that is the same as the 3D map, but in addition to it, I have this one on trade routes and this one on main sources of food. And while you can't see it on this particular screen, there's also a bar graph at the bottom. So the 2D map gives me a variety of versions of the same map and an extension of those maps. What's missing on this page though? I'm on the 2D, what's missing? Do you remember? Right, there's not a place to save. 
we can only save on the 3D versions of our maps. Going down here to our toolbox again, we can utilize these tools on our 2D map. Only difference is, is there's not a way to save it unless you do a print screen. However, as a teacher, you could have students working on the 2D version and you're walking around the room and monitoring what's going on, you could easily determine where they are and how well they are progressing. Here, I've used the circle to draw a circle around a portion of the Native American tribes. Here again, you can see the two different maps and the bar graph that's available as part of the 2D version. Now, let's go back to our map chooser and let's look at another map. This time, let's look at our 2D version of um, excuse me, my 3D version of 13 colonies. And as you can see, we have our 13 colonies here on the map. Within those 13 colonies, again, what do we want to do? We want to go to that info button and see what that, um, what we have to find in the, um, in the legend. So in our legend, you can see that the differences here compared to a previous map are quite different. We can also click on our pen and paper to get our lessons for this map. Remember that each historical map comes with three ready to go lessons. So I've clicked on my lessons, clicked over here, it's opened up, and I now have three different maps here or lessons for the maps to go with. Let's, uh, let's conduct the lesson Religion in the Colonies. So again, it's uh, about religion in the colonies. Oh, but look at this one. Now I was on, I'm going to go back, what map is this? Right, 13 colonies. That's the name of our map is 13 colonies. But I want to do the lesson about religion. And when I come over here, it says that we're going to use the map religion in the colonies. Hmm, I didn't see that on the previous map. What are you thinking? 2D, you are absolutely correct. Let's go back. Here's our 2D version of the 13 colonies. Now, what's the name of this map? Ah, Religion in the Colonies. That's the map we're going to use for this particular lesson. And then here we have Colonial Region Today. So we have three different maps. We have three different lessons. And it's not that one lesson goes to each map. It changes up and varies depending on the historical map in which you are working. You can also go to the library. Your library is where all of your different collections and maps are housed. Most of them are probably already available to you here in the map chooser. But it may be that you had so many that we didn't automatically uh, acclimate all of them to the map chooser. So let's go there. Here's our map library and here's a list of our maps. You can see that all of my maps have been added to my map chooser. But as I scroll down, I see that I have some here that weren't added to my map chooser. If I want to add those, I just click add and it automatically pops you, populates it into the map chooser where the other maps are already located. Another feature that we want to look at today is our outline maps. I mentioned it in one of our previous sessions, but now I want to focus just a little bit more. Our outline maps provide you with a variety of black line masters, things that you can print off in a PDF, and hand out to your students or that you can do online. Lots of ways that you can use our outline maps. For instance, let's bring up the US, uh, United States relief map. Here, I can either add an activity, I could create a lesson, I could do a quiz, whatever it is I want to do, I can now do with this black line master outline map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the numbers like I did earlier in the North American, uh, Native Americans map where I indicated the different regions and the types of foods and housing that they had. Only here, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. And I'm going to add some numbers to these different areas. Oops, sorry about that. Let's go back to the different areas and create myself a quiz to give to the students. I can add as many of those numbers as I'd like. I could do it on all the states or on a portion of the states. Let's go now to our task button and talk about how do you register students? Well, kind of good news and bad news. The good news is, is that for the most part, it's up to your administrator or your administrator's delegate to do the uploads of students because they can be uploaded in a bulk upload. So here is our administration guide. This is going to tell you how to add students 
and even how to add teachers to the school Stratalogica license. In the admin guide on pages 8 through 11, you'll find a step-by-step -step guide for how to do this. If your administrator doesn't want to take on this task, the administrator can allocate this responsibility to any of the teachers or an assistant that they have in the office. Also, in our user guide, the one that you have access to and that's important to you, in our user guide, it tells you exactly how to set up your classroom, helps you to know how to add students when students come in in the mid-year or leave in mid-year, and a variety of other things that are related to your specific classroom and license. Okay, so again, kind of a quick overview of our historical and online maps, and now you're ready for a review. Take your review questions, answer them, and then conduct your assignment. Remember, send your assignment and your review questions to me. I look forward to getting those and sending you a certificate of completion once it's done. Have a great day and enjoy Stratalogica.